Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Lens back with Exposing the Narc Abuse. If you don't know who I am, I am new to the platform. I am trying to spread awareness for narcissistic abuse and our toxic relationships because Lord knows I have been through it all. Now, topic of this video today. Again, I apologize <clears throat> for not dropping any videos lately. I've mainly been um, focusing on shorts because I've just been so busy and um, I'll get to that in uh, probably the next video. But I wanted to put out there, okay? So I was watching a video today from this chick that's called Narc Buster. She's actually pretty um, uh, intelligent and informative with her information. And I never really thought about it like this. So the topic of today is called the reverse discard. Now, I did a short on this. <clears throat> if you don't know what that is, that is when they go out of their way to make you discard them. Okay? They will uh, stop everything. They will completely emotional discon like emotional disconnect, mentally disconnect, physically disconnect. They will stop kissing you high and goodbye. They will stop texting you as much. They will stop having sex with you. They will even go as far as to start sleeping on the couch. But not only that, they will treat you like the worst piece of shit ever. Okay? Um, so I got to give credit to this chick. Um, she's, I like her. Um, you should check her out. She's called um, Narc Buster. So, any of this sound familiar to you? Have any of you um, experienced this before? Well, I have. Once I realized that, once they start, you know, once they pull away and they completely disconnect emotionally, mentally, physically, I mean, then it's time for you to just, just be done. Just be done. Just, it's hard. I know it really is to accept but just be done just accept it for what it is because you don't need to chase anybody you you don't you should never ever ever have to beg somebody for attention affection love sex and all of that uh you were worth way more than that and this is coming from my point of view because i've experienced it and it wasn't until all of that started happening that I was like, oh my God, that is what this dude is doing. Okay, all right. Well, you they do this mainly because so they can say, I tried everything. I really did. I tried everything. It just wasn't good enough. In reality, we try everything. And it's never good enough. It will never be good enough. So if you are experiencing this, uh, or if this sounds familiar to you, run, okay? Get out as soon as possible. I know it's not as easy, you know, it's, it's, it's much easier said than done, rather. However, if you have children with this narciss narcissist, uh, I would suggest uh, getting the courts involved because you will never, ever, ever win with a narcissist, okay? That's just the reality. They're going to manipulate. They're going to try to control. They're going to project. They're, they're going to gaslight. They're going to do all of that, okay? Uh, unless you get the courts involved. And unfortunately, I didn't want to do that, but I was forced to. So, with that being said, uh, like I said, if these are things that you are experiencing right now, yeah, they are purposely, purposely doing this to get you to discard them. It's part of their spirit campaign, too, because, of course, as we know, <clears throat> all they tell all those flying monkeys, you know, all of their 
loyal, unknowing, blind loyalty that they have for these people. It's, it's, <laughs> I can't fuck it. It's actually pretty sad. It really is. It's it's really, really sad that even though they know that the narcissist is constantly wearing a mask, especially family members, watch out for those ones. Because even though they'll sit up in your face and agree with you, they'll turn around in a quick second, quick as hell, to be on their side because they're family. Guess what? You're still a flying monkey and you still have blind loyalty and you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay. If you're a family member supporting this, uh, other than that. <clears throat> so this is definitely something that I can speak from personal experience. Okay. Uh, I would just, like I said, I would su suggest that you, <clears throat> if you have kids with them, go to the courts, uh, get a petition for custody, do what you got to do to get out. Because when it gets to this point, when they do the reverse discard on you, there is nothing left. Okay. There really was nothing there to begin with anyway. So, but I mean, you know, chances are when they're doing this, okay, they are, their attention is somewhere else. They're trying to love Bob someone else. They're trying to replace you. That's the cycle. Replace, repeat, you know, I mean, really, let's be honest. And it just, it's just a vicious cycle. So I'm here to let you know that I'm taking my power back. I took my power back and I am damn, I feel damn good about it. And for, for, for those of you who are, you know, commenting this ridiculous acidine bullshit on my, on my channel, just don't. Okay. If you've got nothing positive to say, just don't comment. Okay. Because I, to me, that says that, well, either you are offended because you are a narcissist yourself or you are afraid that your girl or your man is going to see this and say, wait a minute, holy shit, this is what's happening to me. Yeah, 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 because that's exactly what happened with me. So, on that note, uh... I'm going to try to keep this short because obviously, you know, a lot of people don't like to watch long videos, but, uh, as soon as, uh, I realized that that's what was going on, I immediately did what I had to do. And, uh, now we are in the process of court proceedings, uh, order protection. And I don't care. I don't care what any of you think. Okay. Family, friends, flying monkeys. I don't give a shit. Okay. You have no idea or you do and you just don't care, which is even worse in my opinion. Uh, I take accountability for my, for my shit. Okay. I'm willing to admit my mistakes okay i'm not gonna sit here and say that this is all the narcissist's fault okay not at all it takes two but when you try and try and try and try and try and it's never good enough and then they pull this it's time to exit it's time to exit quickly asap no matter what take it from someone who knows uh, I am freshly out. I am officially single. And guess what? My house. Oh my God. My house is so much lighter. The energy is so much lighter. I just, I just thank God. I do. Because you know what? 
I don't really know if I'm technically still a, a victim. Probably, but soon to be a survivor. And I'm going to tell you right now, never have I been in anything like this in my entire life. And never again will I do it again. Because I learned the hard way. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Reverse this card. When they start sleeping on the couch, when they start withholding affection, love, sex, um, you know, treating you even worse than they ever have. Get out and get out fast. So I just wanted to let you guys all know that, you know, um, again, from my point of view and from my experience, uh, freshly out. And I'm looking forward to new beginnings because guess what? The old Helen is gone. She's gone. I'm looking forward to healing and finding myself again and focusing on my children and nothing else. I have nothing else, no more, nothing for this man. And on that note, uh, pay attention. Pay attention. And if you are in this phase, if they are purposely doing this reverse discard, like I said, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. I'm a little tired, but get out. Get out ASAP. And on that note, I want to thank all of my supporters. I see I have more subscribers, and thank you so much. Uh, if you are, you know, have any questions, like, because I've been in this for a while. So if you, you know, on a specific topic, comment below. And uh, if it's something that you have a question about, of course, I will, you know, I will touch on that. I will, I will answer it to the best of my knowledge and my experience. And if you're only going to go on there to, you know, comment something stupid, don't waste your time because you just look stupid. And I know that he's watching these videos so I'm pretty sure he's probably making up all these fake accounts because he's too cowardly to actually comment himself. Uh, so anyways, this video went a little bit longer than I wanted to. So um, as always, thank you again to my lovely subscribers. I love you all and I hope the best for you. You are worthy, you deserve better and I'm just saying, find somebody who's going to love you how you love them. Find somebody who you don't have to beg for attention, affection, love, and all that. Um, I'm repeating myself again, but anyways. Anyways, um, as always, please like, subscribe, share. And um, I'm going to be dropping some more videos soon. Um, to update you on my situation, it has, there has been a lot that has been happening. And um, to all the people out there who are going through this, stay strong, take your power back, put your big girl pants on, suck it up, and you know what? You'll be fine. You will get through this, you will be fine. So, I'm just going to end that here, and um, please like, subscribe, and share, and have a good night.